Here is my Tech Talk and Beyond for the week ending November 8th, 2024. And this week's topic is the benefits of minimalism. Less stuff, more freedom. Less stuff, more freedom. Introduction. Do you ever feel like your home has turned into a storage facility? Filled with things you don't need or even remember buying. Minimalism might just be the answer. But don't worry, minimalism isn't about throwing away everything you own and living in a barren room. It's about gaining freedom, mental, emotional, and even financial, by owning less. Let's explore how living with less can actually lead to more freedom in ways that will make you laugh, breathe easier, and maybe even save some money. Number 1. Freedom from Clutter Clutter has a way of multiplying when you're not paying attention. Whether it's the kitchen gadgets you never use or that infamous junk drawer, Clutter makes it harder to find things and adds unnecessary stress. Minimalism encourages you to pare down to essentials, which means fewer things to lose and fewer panicked searches for your keys. Bonus tip, less stuff also means less cleaning. That's a winner! Number 2. Less stress, more calm have you ever noticed that a cluttered room makes you feel on edge? That's no accident. Science says clutter can raise your cortisol levels, also known as your stress hormone. With minimalism, your space becomes a sanctuary instead of a source of stress. Fewer things equal fewer distractions, which helps you focus and feel more at peace in your surroundings. The humor here, you can finally stop feeling judged by the pile of laundry you've been avoiding. Number 3. More money in your pocket One of the sneaky benefits of minimalism is the savings. When you stop buying things impulsively, you start to realize how much money you were spending on stuff you don't need. Minimalists adopt a mindset of buying with intention. No more retail therapy or falling for flashy ads. Fun fact, decluttering can also make you some extra cash. That treadmill you never use? Sell it! You'll be amazed at how much people are willing to pay for things you've forgotten about. Number 4. More time for what matters. Imagine waking up to a tidy, clutter-free home. You don't have to spend hours cleaning or searching for misplaced items. That's the beauty of minimalism. It frees up your time to focus on things that truly matter to you, whether that's spending time with family, working on hobbies, or simply relaxing. Relatable Scenario no more cleaning the living room for two hours before you can enjoy movie night. Number 5. Better Relationships It might sound odd, but having less stuff can improve your relationships. Minimalism shifts the focus away from material possessions and encourages us to value experiences and connections. Instead of worrying about what to buy for the next holiday or event, how about planning a fun day together? Real talk, less stuff means more quality time with the people you care about. You'll have more room for meaningful conversations, shared experiences, and laughter. Number 6. Smaller Environmental Footprint Minimalism isn't just good for you. It's good for the planet. By buying and consuming less, you're reducing waste and conserving resources. It's an eco-friendly lifestyle that benefits everyone. The less we consume, the less waste ends up in landfills, and the fewer resources are needed to produce new items. Think of it as adulting for the planet. 
It's like being the eco-conscious hero without the cape. Unless you want a cape, in which case, go for it. Number 7. Minimalism encourages mindful consumption. Instead of filling your home with things you don't need, you'll start asking, will this add value to my life? That simple question helps you become more intentional about what you bring into your space. This mindset shift also brings a sense of contentment with what you already have. Pro tip, when you're content with what you own, you stop chasing after trends or feeling the need to keep up with others. Number 8. Quality over quantity. Minimalism doesn't mean deprivation. It's about quality over quantity. Minimalists tend to invest in well-made, long-lasting items instead of cheap products that break or wear out quickly. So instead of buying 10 pairs of shoes that fall apart, you buy one good pair that lasts. Lesson learned. No more regretting those impulse purchases that end up broken after two uses. Number 9. More room for personal growth. With fewer material distractions, you have more time and space for personal growth. Whether it's picking up a new hobby, learning a new skill, or simply spending more time reading and reflecting, minimalism opens up opportunities to invest in yourself. When you're not buried under your possessions, you can focus on what truly matters. Number 10. Minimalism looks different for everyone. There's no one way to be a minimalist. Some people go all out and live in tiny homes, while others simply focus on decluttering and keeping only the things they truly love and use. The key is finding a balance that works for you and makes your life easier, not harder. Remember, minimalism isn't about having the least stuff. It's about having the right stuff. It's about simplifying your life in a way that works for you. Conclusion. At the heart of it, minimalism is about more than just owning less. It's about freedom. Freedom from clutter, stress, financial burdens, and the constant chase for more. It's about making space for the things that truly matter and finding joy in simplicity. So the next time you feel overwhelmed by the stuff around you, take a deep breath and consider, what can I let go of to make room for more freedom in my life? After all, less stuff really does mean more freedom. You'll find the video used in today's Tech Talk at the link listed. Did you know? The Constitution of India is the longest written constitution of any sovereign country in the world, containing a preamble, 470 articles grouped into 25 parts, 12 schedules, 105 amendments, and comprised of 146,385 words in its English language version. In cultures around the world, nodding your head up and down to indicate yes and shaking your head side to side to indicate no is nearly universal, except in some southeastern European areas such as Bulgaria and southern Albania, where they indicate the opposite. There is no key to the front door of 10 Downing Street, the official residence of the British Prime Minister. The door is attended 24 hours a day by a guard who is responsible for opening the door and keeping it locked from the inside. I just thought you might like to know. When I was little, my mother taught me how to use a fork and knife. The trouble is that mother forgot to teach me how to stop using them, thanks to Hattie McDaniel. Success is a lousy teacher. It seduces smart people into thinking they can't lose, thanks to Bill Gates. And that's a wrap for this week's Tech Talk and Beyond. Stay safe, stay secure, 
and I'll see you again next week. Bye-bye, and thanks for reading, watching, and listening.